Hey guys, Japlip Sibe here and hope everybody is well. The last video was the Jason Manning video. I know it was a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel like recently, because now it's coming up to summer, all my videos are getting a little bit different. So when I first started the channel, it was purely focusing on eBay and vintage sales and me going out to charity shops, etc. But now my channel's starting to slowly develop into more of a vlog style channel where I like to go out and days out and also vlog it as well. I've tested a lot of these kind of videos out recently on the channel and they still get a lot of interaction. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the videos and it brings out a bigger audience for more people. But let me just stop you there. I'm not stopping my eBay and I'm not stopping hitting charity shops and potentially car boots in the summer. But what I am saying is more videos of other things will be coming out, so not just eBay and Vinted. But as you saw from the Dresden Manor video, I still go through all my sales at the end. So it's not like you're, you're missing out on knowing what I've sold and get, uh, me giving out on tips. I just thought I'd get all that clear because I am this summer going on quite a few holidays and I will be vlogging quite a lot of the holidays. I have actually seen other YouTubers do this in the past and I can see that they bang out certain content for such a long period of time, they grow a massive audience in that niche. All of a sudden, they change their videos up and then their views just drop massively. I don't want this to happen to me, so that's why I'm putting it out there now. Um, I'm still going to be interacting a lot of things to do with buying and selling within the videos, so it's not just going to be pure theme park videos or pure this, pure that. I'm going to be integrating eBay and Vinted within the, within the videos because I always do. But I just thought I'd get that straight, so hope you guys are okay with all of that. And in June, next month, I'm actually going on a cruise, so a lot of you guys will probably enjoy watching that. I know you guys are probably going to put in the comments exactly what cruise you're going on. I'm going on the MSC Virtuosa, um, which is going around like European countries, for example, Norway, Copenhagen, etc. So it should be really, really nice. But that's in June, so you've got that to look forward to. But in the meantime, you stuck with me today showing you exactly what I've sold on eBay. Um, and I've sold quite a lot of stuff which I've bought in the recent video, so I'll show you exactly that. But before that, I'm going to go get some breakfast. A lot of you guys saw before, my mum suggested the fruit and fibre from Aldi. These are amazing. If you don't know, go and get to know because these are insane. You've got to put about that much in. Look, you can see it's got all the fruit in it as well. Actually, put a bit more in. Yeah, look at that, big bit of banana. And with the milk, you've got to put, you don't want to put too much in, but you do want to fill it up like half, like there. Perfect. A lot of people this time of year are trying to get on their fitness hype. And I'm telling you, if you want to actually drop a bit of weight and you want to have a nice, healthy breakfast, have that. It's so good. It's so good and it's such low calories. So if you are trying to lose a bit of weight and you want something cheap to have for breakfast, have that. And I always advise as well, when you have your breakfast, make sure you drink a pint of water as well. It's not a Stella, it's a, it's a water. <laughs> so now I'm in the business area, I'm gonna actually show you exactly what I've sold. I'm gonna quickly show you on here anyway, but, so I sold the Donkey Kong, Spurs football, Beats pill, weight loss tablets, weight loss tablets, and a Joseph Joseph cup. So first one I've sold is the Donkey Kong Game Boy game. Sold that for £11, after fees is £8.98, so pretty good on that, got it for like two quid. The next one is a Spurs football, they do say they're £3 on here, but I did actually get these as a bundle because I bought so many. Um, I got these for like £1 each and I've sold it for £6.99, after fees it's £5.25, so some decent money there. Also, if you're actually wondering where I get all my shipping supplies from, what I ship these things in, all my boxes are here. And I'd have a big cupboard here full of all of them. So I've got extra large bags, small bags, but they're all from FedEx and UPS. UPS don't really ship out to me any anymore, but FedEx do. Um, so quite good. If you're wondering what do I mean regarding do they ship out to you? So I put a video out a while ago now when I first started the channel saying that you can actually get free FedEx shipping supplies and you can. But they have actually got really strict of it, so they don't actually ship out to anyone now, pretty much, unless you pay for shipping um, through FedEx. So, yeah, be careful with that one. But if you can't be bothered to try and get that for free, um, you can actually get these from um, Home Bargains for really cheap. I think it's like you can get 40 bags like this size for like £3.50 or whatever. Um, so that's quite a good way to do it. 
So the next one is the Beats Pill. It should be in here. Hello, mate. I'm surprised this one's not sold yet because I sold the other one for like 30, 37 pound, which was good. Uh, Beats Pill. So I got this for two ninety nine and I sold it for twelve ninety nine. After fees and shipping, um, that is £10.98, so good money on that. And I'd just like to mention, does anyone else's cat just randomly sit in their driveway? Like, I thought he was run over a minute ago, but he's alright. So as you can see, I'm really struggling with space at the moment. Um, the other day, me and Chloe went through a lot of my items and listed a shed load of them all. Um, and as you can see, I've got this box here. I haven't sold that cool box yet, but I found a good way to actually store items all inside it <laughs> and would you believe all three of these which i bought the other day from boots have all sold the reason why i'm so amazed upon this is because literally i only bought them two videos ago and that day i made two videos so it might seem ages ago for you guys but it was only like what it was last last wednesday so a week ago i bought them and i only listed them on sunday and they've sold already quite a lot of people favorited them and was watching them um yesterday and i was at the gym none of them were sold i only live 10 minutes away from the gym and i come back and all three of them are sold one person bought two and the other person bought one so easy so if you're actually wondering what they are they are weight loss tablets and i sold two so one there and another one which all the prices are all off them yeah a few of them off so i sold two for a hundred pound okay so after fees, that is £86, what is it, £86.30 or something like that, um, just say £86. And then after, because they cost me £15 each, that's £56 profit in these. So easy as that, um, just from going into the boots clearance. And this one is the one I listed um, as well, but this one just sold on its own. £59.99 this sold. I'll make sure I do take that off, so I will take it off. Yeah, £59.99 it's sold. After fees, £49.99. Quite a lot of money in fees, isn't it, really, when you think about it? But, um, yeah, after £15 taken off and everything like that, that is £35 profit, so easy. So on them two there, looking at £75 profit from, what, 15 minutes? If you guys are also curious about what I actually do send a lot of my stuff in, I send, so I send them in bags, but I also have, like, the padded packs as well yeah and when you fold them over it gets really there's a lot of protection on them so for example the pills i just showed you all in there this is the one with the two packs so securely packaged up um and you know i i over layer it so instead of just being one long one i over layer it as well so extra protection there and again the last one oh, i've locked it is in here so the last package for today i've had a lot of offers for loads of other things but no one's accepted any yet um joseph joseph cup brand new in the box um got this from the palette which was included all that stuff um from ecom kings for free i've only just listed it but it's sold already so nice little bit of money there so sold up for seven pound and after fees that is five pound 25 and it was free so yeah that's straight in the back pocket for me right i put all the parcels inside this Great Britain bag. But Teddy, say hello. Say hello to the camera. Oh, yeah. All right, show off. Showing off for the camera, are you? <laughs> Hitting the gym now, and then I'm going to take all the parcels. But I have actually left it quite late. It's 3 p.m., and there's going to be loads of school kids in there because this gym, which I go to, is connected to like a college. And the secondary school is connected to the college as well. <laughs> so the school is going to be um, coming out and the gym's gonna be really busy. So I'll try and show you exactly what I do in there. But once again, lovely weather, nice and sunny, happy days, bring on summer. So today we're doing back and biceps. So we're starting up with the pull-ups as a warm-up. Then we're gonna get this little rope here and the band, and we're really gonna stretch out the back here. I showed you last time in the video, but you really pull it, you pull it towards you at a slow pace. Here, we're starting off with the lat pull-down. So wide grip, and as you can see on here, Put the weight down to a moderate weight on there, which you can do, and put your legs underneath there and sit down comfortably. Then we're going to go side arm lat grips down, and then basically what you're going to do is exactly the same thing again. Then we're going to do inner. So with the inner, you basically sit down, lower the weight a bit more because it is quite hard, but some people really do try and lift too heavy on that and they look like idiots. Here, we're using the same handle, but we're going low row, 
And low row is basically where you sit down, put your feet against the panel and then pull. Then we're gonna do some pull-ups. Here, this is like the body weight assisted pull-ups, so they're actually really good. And if you wanna get better at pull-ups, definitely recommend you using this, so really good. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do back of your shoulders, so the rear delts. Um, I always do this on back day because the day before is my uh, chest day, so finish it off with that. And then I do my biceps, concentrated curls, and then I do even more concentrated curls. Tell you what, that was a really, really, really good session. But yeah, that's about 562 calories burnt. And now we're gonna go to the drop-off store. This is clearly not the drop-off store, but I had to go get some food. So look at that absolute scram. So if you're actually wondering where I got that food from in the uh, clip before, I was actually from Pepe's. Pepe's is a place down Wallingborough Road in Northampton, and I always get it because chicken and rice after a gym session. Wow, can't go wrong. A little bit expensive, but you pay for what you get. But guys, that is the end of the video today. I do appreciate it. it was a little bit different. I didn't go out to any charity shops. It may potentially be a little bit boring for you guys, but if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, let's go!